right, everyone. We'll remember that line, unfortunately. All right, for this next game, I need, what's an old-timey profession that you don't really see people do anymore? Watchmaker. Watchmaker? Watchmaker. Watchmaker. What's a classic type? Multi, like multi? gigantic organization just started making watches. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've heard of it. Well, That's right. Watchmaker. Okay. Watchmaker. Uh, right. What is a... That one lost my train of thought. Sorry. What is a classic type of like character you'd see in a movie or a book? Cowboy. Cowboy. Very good. And finally, what was your dream job when you were little? Astronaut. Astronaut. Yes? Yeah? A couple astronauts in here. Oh, right, everyone. We are here today for an advice show, and we have three experts here who are going to give you advice on your life problems. So think of your own personal life problems that you want to share with the group. <laughs> and or one that your friends have. <laughs> and we're going to ask our panel of experts. So welcome to the show. Panel of experts, why don't you introduce ourselves to yourselves today? Buongiorno, my name is uh, Giuseppe Ostapovac. Ah, Giuseppe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my name's Terry Bovine. Um, having a good time here. Huh? Yeah. Hope you all do. That'll do too. That's great. And our third panelist for today, Sorry about that. Uh, my name's uh, Skip Tipling. <laughs> I'm an astronaut. <laughs> been in space three times and made it back every time. <laughs> it's great to get, great to get. All right, let's get started with the advice giving, shall we? Who's got Who's got an issue that they want some advice on? Any issue at all? Anger management. <laughs> you need some advice on how to handle your anger management. Great. But well, Giuseppe, he does not have this problem. But Giuseppe has seen this problem before. And what I say to these people who have the anger management issue is, you have two choices. One, go jump off a cliff. Ha! 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 Joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. We like to infuse the show with comedy. Right, man. <laughs> uh, uh, make sure. The second uh, option is to breathe in, second by second, and make sure the watch you're using is properly timed. Great advice. You want to weigh in on this? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> when I see when I see people get mad, I think, stop. Just abuse a cow. Brand it. Poke it in the ass with a little sharp beep beep, you know? It, there's some plenty of things you can do to take your anger out on things that aren't people. <laughs> Noted. Further advice? Well, uh, I spent a lot of time on the Mir space station, and I can tell you what, those close quarters, you can uh, you can get really peeved at some of your fellow astronauts. So uh, what, what I started to do, a little strategy I use, is if I'm in an <laughs> argument, a kerfuffle with, say, a Russian gentleman, uh, say, hey, why don't you take take a break, go on a little spacewalk uh, around the station? So he goes out, and you just uh, you know you clip the cord. And... <laughs> well, I think we all learned something. Next question. Next question from the audience, please. Yes. Keep peeing your bed. What are we gonna do about that? <laughs> Giuseppe, you'll know how you feel. <laughs> Uh, the, the easiest thing you can do is you, you check your clock and you, you know, oh, it's 7 o'clock, no more drinking tonight. And then you wake up at 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock on the dot and you be a little bit. <laughs> That's some solid advice. <laughs> Our next panelist. Who cares? That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you got a cow hand with you, but he, he can't smell the difference, honestly. All them cows shitting everywhere. You can pee as much as you want. You can pee all over yourself. You can pee in your boots. You can pee in your shoes, your your ears. Doesn't matter. It's totally fine. Giuseppe would like to see you pee in your ears. <laughs> Very interesting. Check out that for our after show online content. Our final panelist, please. I ran into this, just this very problem in the same space station. Uh, we had a Norwegian astronaut woman up there with us, and boy, oh boy, did she pee in bed a lot. Uh, unfortunately, those pee particles and zero gravity, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not very nice. So what did I do? I said, hey, 
Martha, why don't you go for a little space walk? <laughs> oh, boy. oh boy. You should have seen her face when she found out that uh, I had peed in her oxygen tank. <laughs> That's quite the image. Okay, we have time in our program for one more studio audience question. Yes, in the middle. Oh my God! What the alcoholism. Alcoholism. That's not a problem. Oh, this man he took Giuseppe's answer. No, no, I'm joking again. Giuseppe's wife is an alcoholic. Uh, what I what I do is even alcoholics. One drink a day. Doctors say it's okay. I've, I've, I've read, I've read. So you time it. If it's the same time every day, you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. All right. What's the problem? <laughs> I'm serious. Getting drunk? Who, who, maybe you fall off your horse, you get kicked to death, but, you know, that happens. Part of the job. Sometimes it happens even when you're not drunk. <laughs> Take a flask with you. Make sure the flask is close to your heart, right? Mm -hmm. That way, when you drink, it's warm, and you say, oh, I don't really want to drink this because it's warm. And maybe you don't drink the whole flask in one sitting, just over the course of, you know, an hour or two. Listen, nothing wrong with being drunk, nothing wrong with being an alcoholic. You know, sure, everybody's got to die somehow, and I'd rather die of alcoholism than being kicked to death by cows. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of good stuff to think about there. All right, <laughs> our third panelist. Well, uh, true confession, I, I'm an alcoholic myself. Uh, I know how it is, sir. Sometimes you, oh, thank you. Uh, sometimes you feel, <laughs> <laughs> well, you feel like you want to be alone. You know, you push your loved ones away. I did the same. I pushed them out of a space station, <laughs> and they all died. So, <laughs> yeah. That's it. And then I was alone and happy, so. <laughs> well, good luck to you with your struggles. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. That is our show. <laughs>